Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the pen function in Scratch and we're going to use it to draw some shapes. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so to get the pen function, all you need to do is down here and then you click on pen and then this block should appear on the left and I've chosen a blank sprite for this video. Now we're gonna, I'm going to explain this block and this basically erases all the pen um, over here on the screen. Um, pen down is, and when the pen is down, then it's going to write, it's going to actually use the pen, but when the pen is up, then it's not going to do anything with the pen. And we're not going to worry about all these um, colour and size options, but colour is basically um, the uh, colour of the ink, and pen size is basically how thick um, the ink is, but we're not going to use that for the set. Okay, so here's how today's video is going to work. Um, so we're going to um, learn how to draw 10 shapes. They're going to progress in difficulty as the video goes on until we reach um, the harder shapes and it's going to get pretty advanced. So um, let's get started. Okay, so our first shape is going to be the square and you can see that on the bottom right of the screen. Now um, we need to erase everything to start off with and we need the pen down because we are using it. And then we're going to repeat four times. And the reason why we're going to repeat um, the code below four times is because this square has four sides. And then um, we need um, to actually um, get this way to move because the pen will follow with it. So we need to move, let's say, 150 steps. Then what we need to do is we need to rotate it because it's just going to keep moving the straight line and we do not want that. So um, the square has um, four right angles so we can rotate it um, 90 degrees anti-clockwise and then this should be uh, the code finish when I press this. The square is drawn basically instantly, but if we want to actually see the square being uh, drawn, we can add a weight block here and there we go, that's our square and that's the first shape complete. Now let's move on. Okay, this is our next shape and it's actually quite easy, it may look difficult but it's not. So basically we can start in the centre point here, we can draw one line here, and then we can draw another line here, and so on until we have drawn six lines. So how are we going to do that? Um, Wing like that, erase all, pen down, and then we need a repeat. And this repeat is going to be six times. And we need to draw our first line. Um, so what we need to do is move 100 steps, and then after we have moved 100 steps, we need to move back 100 steps. So that's minus 100 steps, so we go back in the centre point. And we can keep drawing lines like that. Um, we also need to start direction at 90 degrees and then what we need to do is we need it to rotate um, so it's not drawing the same line um, um, just this way it's, it's going to draw um, diagonals how we're going to do that is uh, 360 divided by 6 is uh, 60 so we are going to turn 60 degrees and now when I click this there we go it's complete and maybe if I can slow this down and see a bit better so there's one line, two lines, three lines, four lines, five lines, and six lines. And that is the second shape complete. Now let's move on to the third shape. Okay, this is our third shape, and we're going to tackle this in two parts. Part one will be this ascending staircase, and then part two will be the other two lines joining um, the staircase. Now, what we need to do, when we click that, um, we need to erase everything, then we need, um, actually we need to set the position. This position should be at this bottom left. So we need the pen up because um, we are not writing anything um, if we are set the position. And then we will go to a minus 160 and minus 220 for the X. And then we will put our pen down to the right. And then we need to move 100 steps this way horizontally to the right. So we need to point in direction 90. So we're going to draw a line about here and then we need to go straight up and how are we going to do that? Well we need to rotate anti-clockwise 90 degrees um, so the direction changes and it's facing upwards then we can move up another 100 steps and then we need it to face um, right again so we can turn 90 degrees clockwise and let's see what happens now so we have uh, this bit and we need to repeat that three times So put a loop over it, repeat three times, and that is the ascending staircase. Now the rest of it should be quite easy, um, we need to draw a line over here first, and um, currently it's um, pointing this way, and we just rotate it um, minus 180 degrees, so um, rotate 180 degrees, and 
counterclockwise so it's facing left and then we can now move 300 steps because um, this bit is 100, 200, 300 so it's 300 and then we, we have now completed this line and it's quite easy we need to face down so we need to turn anti-clockwise 90 degrees so we're facing downwards and then finally we can move 300 steps and this should be our shape finished I'm going to erase everything and then start perfect so that is our shape exactly what it looks like uh, down here and let's move on to the fourth shape our next shape is a circle and it's uh, very straightforward when we click clicked then we need to head up because we want to set um, the x coordinates and the y coordinates to zero and then we want our pen down again and then we need to repeat the following 360 times because there are 360 degrees in a circle and then what we can do we need to move one step and then after we need to turn one degree clockwise and when I click this it should work there we go it's very very slow at the minute so um, how we can speed this up is uh, we can divide this 360 by a certain number let's say I divide it by uh, 4 so that's gonna give us uh, 360 divided by 4 is 90 and then over here we need to multiply um, these bits by 4 and now um, 90 times 4 is 360 so it still should work I want to erase everything so we can test it out here we go that is way faster and already that is a circle drawn very quickly and now let's move on to the next shape Okay, so we need to draw an equilateral triangle, and to do that, when we click clicked, then pen down, and we need to draw um, one line um, to the right, so um, horizontally that's going to be our base, pointing in the direction 90 degrees, we're going to draw, um, let's say, 150 steps, and then that is going to be our uh, bottom line here, and then um, we need to repeat um, the line three times, because there are three sides in a triangle, and then we also need to rotate um, anti-clockwise a certain number of degrees. This is the tricky part now, we do not know how many number of degrees we need to rotate, but there is a formula, and that is 360 um, divided by the number of sides in the shape is the number of degrees you have to rotate. There are three sides, so 360 divided by 3 is 120, so we need to rotate 120 degrees. And now when I click this, that is our triangle, and I probably need to erase everything. Um, there we go, that is our triangle over on the right, and now let's move on to the next shape. Okay, next is a hexagon, very similar to triangle. First, when we I clicked, and I actually want to adjust the coordinates a wee bit, so motion, and go to X, and then we need the Y to be minus 160, and the X coordinate, I'm thinking, round about minus 100, or maybe 150 to be safe, and then we need our pen down, then what we're going to do, we need to repeat six times because there are six sides in a hexagon. Then we need to move our steps. I'm going to move 150 steps. And then what we need to do here is we need to rotate um, a certain number of degrees anti-clockwise. And we learnt from the triangle that the formula is 360 divided by the number of sides. So here is going to be 60 degrees. And now when I click on this, it has drawn the hexagon. And let's move on to the next shape. Okay, so now we need to draw a star, and um, this isn't going to be quite easy. So what we need to do is, when we click, click um, pen down, and then we need to repeat the following code eight times. And then we need to move, um, let's say, 150 steps. And then we need to turn clockwise um, a certain number of degrees. And, and the acute angles in the star, they're all 36. So 180 minus 36 is 144 degrees, so we need to turn 144 degrees, and then when I press this, that is our star complete. Now let's move on to the next shape. Okay, so now we are moving on to the very advanced shapes, and these shapes are not easy, so um, don't worry if you don't understand them, but this is it. Our next shape and uh, you can pause the video and study a bit closely because there is actually a secret um, to coding it but I'm just gonna explain it right now so there are 12 pentagons here if you look really really closely this um, the one I'm sort of drawing with my mouse is actually a pentagon and um, 
what we can do to cook this is we can draw one pentagon and then we can keep rotating um, some degrees and then draw the next pentagon and we keep doing it until we have finished um, the shape. So uh, what we can do is when going by click, pen down, then we need um, to do 12 pentagons in this shape. There are just 12 of them. If you look closely you can see that and then we need to go to just one pentagon. One pentagon has basically five sides in it. And this should be quite straightforward. We've done the hexagon, so pentagon. Move 90 st st steps, and then we need to turn 72, because remember it's uh, 360 divided by the number of sides. 72 degrees, then we need to wait 0.1 seconds. And then what we can do next is we need to rotate clockwise 30 degrees, and then we can turn the next pentagon. Why I got 30 is because 360 divided by this 12 here equals 30 degrees. Now, um, when I press this, you can see it's drawing a bunch of pentagons. And the shape is um, great. Very good. Okay, so our next shape is going to be a cube, and this is going to be quite challenging because we have been looking at 2D shapes, but this is a 3D one. So we're going to draw one square over here, then we're going to do another square over here, and then we are going to draw the diagonals. This is how um, we can draw the cube. And first we need, when we by clicked, then we need pen up because I want to set up some coordinates, and I want to go, go to X, uh, minus 100, and Y 100. Then what we can do now is we can put the pen down and I probably want to erase all the code at the start. Then we need to draw a square and um, we could do move um, the steps then rotate then move the steps rotate but that's going to take quite a while and there's actually an easier way to do it. So we can use the change x and y blocks and because uh, the pen is down it's still going to draw it so we can do change x by 200 change y by minus 200 and then we can just uh, duplicate change x by minus 200 and then we can change y by 200 and that is going to be one square so here we go then what we need to do is we want to change the coordinates so we need to pen up then we need uh, to go to x y and uh, we need these x and y positions blocks and we're going to get some operators and then we're going to add 80 to each of them so we are going basically y minus 20 uh, y 180 so we can add 80 and then we need to fit these blocks in then what we can do now is we need to repeat all this again so we need to draw a second square as you can see there, there are two squares then um, after we need to go down here uh, we need to remove that and then go to X Then we need minus 100 100 So it's going to go back to the starting position and I probably just deleted a block by accident minus 100 100 And then um, that is our position then we do pen down Then after pen is down we need to change um, the X coordinate by 80 then we just duplicate all of this but this time we change the x to be positive and then we can duplicate all of this again then x is now positive and y is negative then we can duplicate all of it again and then finally x is negative and y is negative and that is a cube drawn on scratch using the pen function so um, that is um, all the code here and now let's move on to our final shape okay so our next shape is going to be so advanced and it's going to require some maths as well so here it is it's the oval and the oval um, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the easy stuff uh, and then I'll try to explain the maths as best as I can I probably cannot do it but um, we'll see how we go when we by clicked erase everything and then we need to pen up and then we need to reset the timer and the timer um, is basically a measure of the number of seconds since you started the script and 
uh, or you have reset the timer so it will keep going up and then we need to repeat 100 times um, sorry 120 times and then we need to make two variables we need an x variable and then we need a y variable and this is going to determine our coordinates so we need to set each of these um, a certain value and then what we need is we need to go to x y so and then after what we need to do is we need to pen down then um, now comes the tricky part because we need to know uh, what x and y is and to do that we are going to need um, some uh, trigonometric functions they're called in math i'm not going to explain them they're called sine and cosine uh, no one needs to know it it's just it, it's very additional math you don't need to know it so sine of um, timer times 100 and sine can go from uh, basically minus one uh, to one and the timer is going to be quite small which is why uh, we need such a big value um, to work with and then we need to multiply it again by 100 and sine will be our x coordinate uh, for the oval so i think i've got that right yes and then what we need to do is we need to duplicate it and for the y we're going to use cosine and they're both very similar and but this time for cosine we need to multiply the result by 50 and now when i press this there we go that is an oval drawn on scratch and uh, that is probably the hardest shape of them all and th that is going to be it for this video so uh, thank you for watching uh, this video of the scratch coding class um, if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you guys soon take care bye for now